All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War. Back at you again with an open form. I don't have a topic, but um, I do have a scripture queued up. So let's see what the Lord will allow. This is um. This is uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And, and salvation is so close, man. You know, we see these prophecies popping like popcorn. You know, the Lord is turning it up. You know, we're in those birth pains. As a matter of fact, let's see if I can... um. that scripture yeah you now I can read this scripture too but um we're in those birth pains you know let me just get it this is uh second address chapter 16 verse 38 oh, I'll start at 36 behold the word of the Lord receive it believe not the gods of whom the Lord spec behold the plagues draw nigh and are not slack all right and that word plague you look it up it goes into you know of course ailment Ill, uh, illnesses infirmities sicknesses but another another definition stands out is a uh, continued trouble you know and that's what we're going through now a continued trouble you thought you might have thought maybe the year 2020 was enough you know these people thought year 21 was going to be their year you know, it's going to be their year. They're going to get back to vacation. They're going to do this and do that. But instead, it's just more trouble, more continued trouble. All right. It seems like it slow down and then it pick back up. And what he is doing, you know, his whole mission is to turn us into transhumans, man. Transhumanism, putting technology in our bodies. And that main technology, the end, the end all be all is that MOTB all right Revelation 13 16 he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads all right and we know what it is you know that MOTB is that chip okay it's not embargoes okay it's not Christianity it's that technology that device when you go into the word mark you're going, you're going to find the word karagma. And the root word is karax. You look it up. You keep getting into it. It's going to tell you brand. All right. Something incision. Something marked upon the skin. Right underneath the skin. All right. You got this new. Uh, this uh, new. Well, I don't even going to say new. But this company. Uh, Sacron. If I say it. I forgot the name of it already. Uh, just did a lesson on it yesterday, but um, sick around. Ah, anyway, but this company just beat Elon Musk. All right, basically approving from the FDA that this uh, brain, this this brain technology that can help paraplegics, that can help people who are paralyzed, basically putting that technology inside your head. You know. And um, according to the video, they in trials. So they're using different techniques, methods. But eventually, it's going to be that chip. All right. Something very convenient. Implanted. You know, quick surgery. It is what it is. And this is how we in. That's why it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Meaning wipe that dust off you, man. You know, get the truth while you can. Stop believing in those lies, you know. You know, you got a lot of false prophets out here that are, you know, perverting the gospel, you know. They're just changing it up, saying whatever it is they think, what they want to say, and not telling you the truth according to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Rakha Kodash, right? So let's continue to read 2nd Edges 16, 38, 36. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. 
believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. You don't want to believe in the gods of this world. All right, what's that? First Corinthians or Second Corinthians 4. All right, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to those that are lost. All right, so behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. And that's how the Lord is comparing these judgments. He's comparing these prophecies, all right, that, that leads to the end, the end of Esau's world and his kingdomship. It's like a woman in travail, a woman's giving birth. You know, if brothers who got children, you know, you've been with your woman, you know, how her water break, you know, she start to have contraction pains, you know, and when that water break, you know, it's a moment of time in those hours, you're gonna have that baby, you know, and there's no holding it back. It's no pushing it off. You know, it's no, give me a break. When it's happening, it's happening, you know, and she gotta go through it no matter what. And that's sort of like, when you look at it, you know, what we gotta do as uh, soldiers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is that we gotta get through it because when it's happening, it's gonna happen. And ain't nothing we could do to stop it. You know, yet, yet alone, we don't wanna stop it, you know, because we know the kingdom come right, right after it. So we gotta pray to the Lord for strength to get through it, you know. If you're afraid, you fear, you need to pray, all right? You need to uh, pray to the Lord to take that fear demon off you, all right? And uh, pray for great faith. We gonna need it. We all need faith. That's the only way we can get out of here. It's through the Lord, and that's through his gift of faith, you know? So let's continue. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. You see the uproars of the people, all right? Right now, Proverbs 29 and two is screaming. All right, it says, uh, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. That scripture is screaming right now because the whole world is mourning. So this is also evident to prove that the wicked is ruling. And who's the wicked? That's E, Esau Edom, man. All right, these international bankers. All right, those who run the world, that's called the, Illumina the illuminated ones, that 1%. All right, Rothschilds, okay? All those that's of the house of Esau, all right? It says, even so shall the plagues be not slack to come upon the earth. The world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So the Lord prepared us with the instructions, preparing our minds. You know, preparing our spirits. That's why it's important to be involved in this work. You know, you want to be engulfed with the Lord, Rakakwadash, over you every day. You know, every day, man. Every day. You know, because we're going to need every bit of strength and faith to get through this hellhole, man. You know, especially the shit that's coming. Because Yahweh, all right, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, it's not playing, man. You know, shit that's gonna happen ain't never been seen before, you know? So, it says, oh my people, hear my word, make you ready for thy battle. How you get ready for the battle? You have to have this truth. You have to have the correct understanding, the 100% truth, all right? So you can be sealed, all right, in your hearts, which is the mind, love, you know, having the insurance of faith, okay? It says, and be though, and in those evils, which is troubles, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Now you look up the word pilgrim in the etymology, it means to vagabond, which means to travel, but it also means to look for a miracle. So we're looking for a miracle from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures say, those may laugh now, but you're gonna cry later. You know, guys made jokes, you scoffed this, because we um we speak about Yahweh Shai cracking those clouds, receiving spiritual powers, you know, and guys make mockery, you know, and they laugh to scorn. They take delight in their scorning, but you're gonna cry later 
when these things come into existence, when they manifest. All right, because the, the, word, the, the word of the Lord is true. All right. We're going to become the sons of God again. All right. We're going to be truly Yasha Allah. All right. He, Prince Power. We're going to be the princes of the Most High being, if you have that election. All right. We're going to have that divine. Well, we're going to have that extraterrestrial body. And we're going to have powers. So, hey. <laughs> Anyway, let's go back. This is Romans 13 and 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So, hey, it's nearer than when we believe, man. You know, everything is going to happen. It's happening so fast. You know, even the years are going by so quickly. You know, and before you know it, it's going to be that, that hour. Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. So this is an important time, all right, to clean up your act, man. You know, get your priorities straight, you know. And uh, scriptures say manner, manner, all right, conduct, you know. What manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? It's very important, man. You know, these lessons may sound repetitive same song you heard it before but it's important you know to uh be engulfed you know be consumed in the spirit of the lord man you know we don't want to have to you know i remember elder apostle Gabar years ago said uh you know prayer builds your relationship with the lord so hey we 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 become what friends all right, if you're shy, and a friend, he come through for you, man. He's not going to leave you out to dry or get hanged, man. You know, he's going to come through and give a helping hand because that's a friend, you know. So we want to be close, you know. Let's move on. Uh, verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy and you see in men all right false prophets they're really in that strife and envy you know and even other guys that is teaching that christianity garbage they, are, they come in the strife and envy spirit you know they envy at the fact that we have the truth they're envying the fact that we stand as strong matter of fact we're standing stiffly for the name of the lord as the scriptures say you know and they want strife they want beef all right, but the only beef you're gonna get is when your shot cook up that beef, all right, and, and and destroy your ass. All right, so verse 14 but put ye on the Lord your shot Mashiach and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So we don't want to pile on more sins, we want to shed and take away that iniquity, you know, be more blameless more spotless if it's possible we're not perfect we're not perfect but we can do better you know it's really no excuse you know right now at this moment in season and time there ain't nothing else to do anyway ain't nothing else out here <laughs> you're gonna have to get that prelude you know <laughs> get that prelude just to enjoy yourself for a moment but now you're gonna have all that that uh technology inside your ass you know so hey lord willing i pray this lesson was edifying all right like i said i didn't really have a topic so hopefully this edifies someone of the whole four elect may it build upon your faith may you grow continue to pray you know be more sincere be honest and true and that's the best way to go because uh lying and sneaking around and all that bullshit you're gonna get you know you, you be <laughs> It's, what's in the dark is gonna come to the light, man. All you super double agents, you know, you're gonna come to the light and the Lord gonna destroy your ass, you know. So it's best to be honest and true, you know, and show and uh what scriptures say, ch uh, be charitable, you know. That's the best way to go. So that's my humble advice. I hope it's less edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. 
Double honors to my apostles and elders. Great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.